Well, detectives are investigating a violent home invasion that happened in Orlando. They say two armed men broke into a home and threatened a mom and her two children inside. This happened just after midnight on Hardwood Street, which is off of John Young Parkway, not far from Colonial Drive. You can see that map right there. News 6 reporter Johnny Fernandez spoke to the mom who says she begged these men to spare her life. The victim says that the only reason she opened up the door was because she thought it was her neighbor. And when the two suspects barge into this house right here, they threatened everyone inside the house, including an 11 year old. Friends and family came to visit the family that lives here on Hardwood Street after a horrific night. They just they terrorized us, and I was like, please don't kill me, please don't kill us. I'm a mother. I'm a mother, please don't kill me. The victim, who wanted to remain anonymous, says when she heard the midnight knock, she thought she heard her neighbor's voice. She tells police when she opened the door, that's when the two armed suspects barged in, forcing her to wake up her family, bring them to the kitchen, and demanding money. So he said, you know what I'm talking about. And he, that's when he held the gun to my baby and was like, I'm going to kill her. But, well, the guy who was in the kitchen, the, young, the shorter one said, kill the baby, kill the baby. And I hovered down over my baby, so I said, please, no, no. Moments later, the victim says the suspects realized something wasn't right. I heard the one in the kitchen whisper something, and they started, like, backing out with the guns on me. It was like, don't look at me, don't look at me. And I was like, I'm not, I'm not. Orlando police say the suspects took off in a gray Impala. With these guys still on the loose, the victim and her family says they want justice. I pray to God that they pick you guys up and lock you up. Because you live by the gun, you die by the gun, and God says that. And police, they are not giving you much information about the two suspects. The only thing the victim told police is that they were wearing a dark clothes and had their faces covered. And right now, police are asking for your help. If you have any information about what happened here, you're urged to contact Orlando police. In Orlando, Johnny Fernandez, News 6.